Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Sam Crack and I finally broke down. I, I did it. It's something that you guys have been telling me to do for a long time and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. We come around here, behind the Jaguar is a bumper. Now this is the bumper for the C6 Corvette that we're working on. I've already started to dual action sand this bumper as you can see right here. So back to what we were talking about. What happened right in this edge, this is where the accident was. And you could see it didn't even crack any of the plastics of the bumpers, but it must have pushed this up, cracking the paint in this area. But basically I called around, I got a couple quotes to repaint this bumper. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, I got her, I got her. Oh, you're okay, you're okay. Oh, okay. All right, enough playing with the chickens. We gotta talk business here. I called around. Keep getting sidetracked. I called around and I got quotes of like 600 bucks to refinish this bumper. You know, I had a good quality paint shop to do a good job. And that's actually about right. This is a pretty wide bumper. Sorry, my whole entire compressor tank is in the way here. So I'm just gonna do it myself. This is something I've said a long time ago, I would never do is paint my own cars, but it's coming to the point where on these rebuild projects, some of the most expensive repair is the paint and body work. And again, body work, that's another added step I'm still gonna rely on experts for. Based on the amount of material and all that sort of stuff, it's a lot and really it all comes down to the prep work and on a bumper like this that's not severely damaged i'm pretty confident i can get back in really good shape if you guys remember i didn't paint this bumper but i actually painted this bumper and it turned out pretty good and i did this all with rattle cans i also painted that bumper right there with rattle cans and it came out really well but this is not going to be done with rattle cans we're actually going to go out we're going to buy a nice paint gun we're going to buy all the right materials the reducers the catalyzers whatever it takes see i don't even know what i'm talking about to get this in factory condition that is what we're going to go and buy so right now we're going to hop on the road uh, we're gonna choose probably the Fiesta because we got a little bit of driving to do today and we're gonna go pick up all the stuff we need. So I'm hoping to learn a little bit today and I hope you guys don't mind following along. Maybe you could teach me something in the comment section below about painting and I'm sure the number one comment's gonna be just leave it to the experts. Let's hop in the car now, let's get on the road. Okay, so I just left a body shop after all this talk about me going and painting my own bumper, but I did that because I finally got the car delivered to uh, this shop, the car that I had told you that the truck driver took off with. It is in my possession. We've got it, and I appreciate all you guys reaching out. Some of you guys even reached out, told me you had family in law enforcement and could help me. And uh, I actually reached out to law enforcement during this entire thing and was told they wouldn't do anything about it. We'll get more into all the details of that situation, that specific car, when I unveil the car in the coming weeks likely. But right now I just gotta have the body shop do a few little things to it. Now these are things because this is a really nice car and I want it to turn out perfect. None of them being paint related yet. I might have them paint um, the few pieces that need painting because there's not a lot of paint that's gonna be necessary. This is a totally epic car and I just just found out way more about it that I had no clue and it's gonna be absolutely amazing the other reason I was there is I had to pick this piece up here you guys might be familiar with it but this is actually a part uh, on modern cars now and it connects to where your battery is and basically there's an explosive in here like an airbag the explosive in here blows which this one did it will prohibit your car from starting now the funny thing about this part is I called the dealership to order one because they make knockoff ones online for like 13 bucks and I bought one and it didn't work. But I called the dealership to order one. They wanted $300 for this right here. This tiny little thing, 300 bucks. And uh, I found out that the guys over at My Airbags will rebuild this, so I'm gonna send it into them, and I think they charge like $70 or something to rebuild it. Another thing I wanna address really quick is a question a ton of you guys have asked as well, and that is regarding any sort of legal issues I might 
still be having. As you could tell through this entire process, I haven't given a lot of detail because I wanna protect myself. Basically, everything I've told you guys in previous videos is exactly what is going on. I, I don't wanna keep making videos. This is the legal situation update because I think it would draw unnecessary attention to things. I think the message that I needed to spread got out and I'm leaving it at that point as, as it is. So you won't see any video updates on it unless there's something major that occurs. If there is, then I'll definitely let you guys know. There's been no further major follow-up. Oh man, my car is filthy. I really need to ceramic coat this car, especially hatchbacks. I always have a problem with them getting filthy in the rear, but we're back from the paint store in. I stepped to the auto parts store, got this thing here. Let me show you exactly what I got and how much this small box of supplies was. Now one big positive about painting this bumper myself is that I'm able to dictate what sort of product I use. You can see right here, I went to a paint shop that only carried PPG. And as far as I know, PPG is one of the best products you can buy. Now this sort of stuff here, the filters, the cups, the paint sticks that are in there, there's a bunch of them right here, just a, a bunch of them. Uh, they just threw all those in because I bought it, but really, what we want to check out here is this stuff right here. This is shop line, I guess they're calling it. Supposedly this is the best formula or whatever. I honestly don't have a clue. This right here by itself was 40 bucks. This is a pint of white paint for the Corvette, 40 bucks. By the way, let me know, is this about what this stuff costs? I really don't know. I'm, I know that automotive paint is not cheap, but again, I want a high quality job, so I bought the best stuff that they offered. Next we have, uh, this is clear coat right here. This clear coat was 27 bucks. 27 bucks for a quart of clear coat. We have reducer right here, which I think is another way of saying paint thinner, but I'm not 100% positive. The reducer is 15 bucks. Right here we've got a hardener. This either goes with the clear coat or with the primer, not positive. Cause then I got another hardener here and another thing here which this is our 2k primer so all of this stuff that you see here minus the paint gun was a hundred 154 dollars 81 cents i kind of expected it to be around that much for as much as i needed i think i'll have a lot of clear coat and a lot of primer left over because it's just that bumper so it's not a bad deal in my opinion although i'm sure if i had a wholesale account it'd be cheaper right here is a suction feed spray gun, which all the painters at home are laughing at me for not buying a gravity feed. This thing is, well, it's, first of all, it's Ingersoll Rand, which is an amazing brand, but I bought this at the auto parts store for about three fifty. Now it's amazing to think before when I was just doing the cheap bumper jobs on the cheap cars, the pizza cars, I was using this, a can of primer, a can of clear, three things. Here you've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, items plus you need this plus you don't just need this you need a decent sized compressor which i have and i got to go get a moisture inline filter and a connector and a pressure regulator i think i think that should do it let me know if i'm missing something but that's honestly one of the things that is slightly intimidating about this job so hopefully i don't mess this up they did give me spec sheets on every single product here the spec sheet will tell me exactly how to mix all this stuff so let's hope that I don't waste any of it. By the way, anytime I've ever gone to a paint store, it just has that absolute toxic smell in it. So I wonder how those guys survive working in paint shops. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, but I do have a respirator mask. Uh, not just one of those cheap, you know, Michael Jackson masks. I got the whole thing that has the filters in it and everything. So hopefully that'll help keep me away from any toxins while I'm spraying this. And the last part is really just not having a paint boot, that's another thing that concerns me a little bit. Now, no joke, I've seen crummy body shops spray cars outside. That's not a good idea. I'm thinking if I set up a tarp somewhere here in the shop and just kind of cover anything that I don't want to get paint on, it should be uh, decent. Let's put it that way.
sanding this bumper down really makes me appreciate factory paint. This is really strong stuff. It's really sticking on there nicely. And uh, yeah, I'm scuffing it up really good, but there's still a really nice thick layer of paint on everything. So what I wanna do is pause right here and make sure I'm doing this the right way. Now, if I am totally off base here and you think I'm gonna ruin this or I'm gonna do something completely messed up, uh, let me know. The, the paint and body guy at the body shop did say it was no problem. I could drop him off the supplies. He'd use it and reduce a little bit of the cost of the $600 that he quoted me before. But if you think we should dive right into this, take the plunge and see if we can come out successful or not. Again, maybe we both learn something in the process. So guys, I appreciate you watching this one. If you have any questions for me, as always. Maybe they're chicken related, maybe they're not. Definitely let me know. Email is in the description box below. Can't wait to show you guys my new rebuild projects. Gotta wait just for a little bit of work to be done so I get them back in my possession. Otherwise, I'm gonna show them to you and then you're gonna say, we wanna see more of that car and I'm gonna be like, well, it's sitting out of shop somewhere. So let me get a few loose ends tied up and then I'll be showing you very soon. See you next time.